Hi everybody, thank you so much for your time. In this session, I'm going to show you how to install Presonus Studio One Prime on Mac, okay? And it applies to the Windows as well. Previously, I made a similar videos and I thought after a while, Presonus has upgraded and they have updated their Studio One license. So I thought it would be nice to do a follow-up video to show you what has changed and what are the difference and how to make choices and choose the plan that suits you. So, so let's dive in right now. So for those of you who have not installed Presonus Studio One Prime, don't worry, it's entirely free. You just need to know how to install it. So first you need to go to presonus.com so once you are at the website, you can navigate to the top left corner under software, and then you will see Studio One. So over here, you will see Studio One, Studio One Plus, Studio One Plus Hybrid. Don't worry about this, just click on Studio One. All right, so once you have uh, clicked on the Studio One, you will be brought to the product page, which is Studio One 6. This is the latest version. If you are ready to buy, you can feel free to click on the buy button and check out accordingly. But for those of you who want to enjoy and try out Studio One Prime, and which is absolutely free, you can scroll down. So this is a sneak peek of the professional uh, versions, uh, the screen uh, shot of the uh, um, Studio One Pro, uh, not Prime, the Pro version, all right? I'm sorry. So you, if you scroll down, you will see this free 30 days demo. Just click on that. And then you will be brought to the sign up page. And if you have already logged in, you can log in. But uh, for those of you who are first time uh, signing up, you can go to sign up page, put in your name, your email address, Okay, and then choose your country. And enter your password. Sorry, let me use my own password instead. Okay, click on I'm not robot. Scroll down. If you would like to receive the updates or newsletter, you can turn it on. For me, I have already done it previously, so I don't need to do that. So the moment you click on yes, there will be a message to tell you that um, the account has been created, but they need to have a verification code. And this code has been sent it to the email. So you just need to navigate to the email and then from there and retrieve your uh, retrieve your activation code. Okay, so let me just get my activation code. Okay, verify code. Once it's done, and you are good to go. You will then be redirected to the product page. In fact, they will show you Studio One 6 and you can download now. So you can either watch the video how to install and what is the demo tours for their professional version or you can simply just click download now. Now because I'm using a Mac so the system would automatically detect on the left side to show you that uh, which is the platform or the operating systems that you are using. So for those of you who are using Windows, the installation process is the same, just as how you normally install your Windows application. So for Mac, you can just uh, click on downloads and it will download automatically. If you cannot see the downloads, it's probably because your uh, browser has blocked that pop-up page. So what you need to do is navigate to the top. So let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can see. Um, so if you zoom in over here, okay, so if you zoom in over here, you will see this windows, okay? So this is a, a pop-up blocking uh, sign. So when you click on this, it allows the downloads to uh, begin, all right? So let me zoom out a little bit. So once I've done the download, I can click on my installation. So over here, you can see that it tells you that um, this is Presonus Studio One 6 and you can just drag and drop it to the application for the Mac user, okay? So if you are to do that and once the application is dropped and then you are done and you are good to go, 
okay now um, so in this case once you have done it the you have dropped the applications you can launch it so let me just launch that so for the first time when you launch it it shouldn't have any error message but in case if you encounter any error message you can just click on no so what you are seeing over here is because previously i've plugged in my presonus studio ones and uh with my midi keyboard so now it doesn't detect the midi keyboard because i've not turned it on then it shows me the error message so i can just ignore it and then you will see this page now once you have logged in over here uh, let me zoom in for you this is your startup page okay now let me zoom in on the top right you will see this icon the human icon okay beside your upgrade this is your login icon so you can actually sign in and your profile or it will be uh, saved uh, updated uh, whatever profile that you are having now the other part where i need to highlight is the button beside the um, profile uh, accounts which is your download so when you click on it you will see a pop-up let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see okay um, I think it doesn't show over here I'm not sure why but it uh, it doesn't okay so now I yeah so now you can see okay so it actually has all this uh, studio one demo studio one instrument sound and studio one all these informations right so you can download all these sample sounds so once you've downloaded it will take a little time to download okay so once you've downloaded it then you are good to go but for some of you if it doesn't show what you can do is go to your personas product page so over here you click on show six bundle download so let me zoom in for you a little bit so you can see clearer. So over here, you have this six bundle downloads. So all these are the sound that you need to download. Okay, so I think all in all, it's about three to four gigs um, of uh, instruments, loops, sounds, and um, all the necessary informations that you need to get started. So you just download it. Okay, so once you've downloaded already, you can go and click on new okay now under the record and mix let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see so you'll see the record and mix new song and you put a name over here okay so let's say for example i want to do a test and sample rate usually we just leave it for the eight thousand hertz okay so that's the new standard we no longer do 44.1 that's a cd standard resolution you can put 24 if you want to put 16 that's fine too but i'll leave it 24 for time base choose bars okay bars instead of seconds um, it will be easier to navigate in terms of the length you can leave it whatever length it is uh, usually just put it five minutes that's fine uh, usually we won't use up so long but i mean of course if you want to uh, there's a tempo if you know the song tempo please uh, go ahead and do it um, let's say i put it 80 then um, i can hit and then the time signature if you know uh, if not then we can just leave it 4 4 if not uh, if you have a song that is 6 8 or whichever time signature is just put it there once you've done click ok so over here you will see let me zoom out this is a page okay so on your right side you will see the uh, studio one and this is the browser page okay so how do you come up with this is to okay let me zoom in so that you can see okay let me move myself out of the way okay to the other side now so if i zoom in for you to see you should be able to see this okay now there is three tabs over here you have the browse you have mix which will uh, trigger the mixo and you have the edit okay so now let me just click on the browse when I click on the browse you should be seeing this tabs over here so this will be your favorite tabs okay so it includes all the necessary informations like for example um, all your instruments all your effects your loops your files your um, 
all the necessary information that's all here okay which we will go into it in the next video all right so stay tuned and i hope this is helpful if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment sessions i'll see you next round see you then bye bye